Yes. We are recording. Hello, Seema. Hello, Beth. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Here, where it's happening. <laughs> yeah, I love this. I think, so it's 1.36, my time. We have been trying to uh, learn how to do Facebook Live so we can have a quick little five-minute conversation for the last 45 minutes. And it still never really happened, so we're and doing it, it this way. You know, so we go to the way that it, 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 it works and we move on. <laughs> I love it. Well, you, you know, we, funnily that we, that this happened because there's always a way. It's so true. It's, there's always a way. And you know what else? I, this is what you spoke about just before we tried this call, <laughs> hopped on this call. Um, Self-care, which is what we're talking all about, is not beating yourself up about it and just finding another way. And this is something that I feel like I have gotten better and better at over the years, not so much in the past. So yay for us to just yeah. go the way that we know how to go. <laughs> well, and, and learning to laugh, right? Yeah. It's not laughing at, at, at something being dumb. It's just laughing at the circumstances yeah. and really finding another way to do it. And exactly. uh, like yay to self-care in the moment. So <laughs> yeah. so um, welcome home. Thank you. To I, I I think some snow and family yeah and holiday season yeah uh, you were coming off uh, quite the adventure of um, just like I, I see solitude and being in the world in such a different way mm. and uh, like now being reunited with your parents and your family and and Christmas and and uh, holidays and and back in Toronto and like what's that like for you. Ah! <laughs> yeah. it's amazing it's it's ah and it's amazing and it's exciting and it's nourishing and it's nice to be with family to see my friends again and to be honest the snow I haven't seen snow or been around snow in some time so it's fresh not just the snow is fresh but it's a fresh view a fresh perspective and I, I love it yeah. So um, I can imagine that this is a little bit of a, of a culture shock. Um, yeah. You know, coming, coming home for this. What are some of the things that you're noticing and uh, how are you managing to take care of yourself? Mm, good question. So culture shock is an interesting word. It resonates in the sense that there are definitely more people around me than I'm used to. <laughs> um, and uh also, I noticed it when we went to Starbucks the other day. So it was a tradition to, in the mornings, hop over to Starbucks, have a coffee, and then shoot on over to the chapters, which is connected to it, and have a browse. And I realized at this time, actually, it isn't, it isn't bringing me joy the way that it used to bring me joy. And I wonder if this is a link that we can make to self-care, because I was very deliberate in deciding um, with Peter that, you know, actually this isn't it anymore. And an old, the old way I would have done it was to just keep on doing it the way that I had done it because it made sense back then. And when I link it to self love, I feel like it's about listening to who I am today and what I want today and creating a new experience based on that. And what do you think Beth? Like, is that like a self-love act, do you feel? Well, yeah. Well, what I love that you bring up is during this time of year with families, like yeah. you're steeped in traditions. Yeah. Yeah. And how That's often good. do we hold on to these traditions because we have to? Have to. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Really connecting into, is this a tradition that brings my family or me joy? That's good. That's good. That's really good. Yeah. And what would it be like to uh, be curious and create new traditions? Well, and this is it. And so speaking of traditions, this is a really good thing that you bring into this because even for my birthday, it used to be tradition to, for whatever. So I would ask, I would have lasagna or, or Mexican or something on my birthday. And this year when it came around, I'm just chatting with my mom and we're like, okay, so what do we want to do for the birthday dinner? And I was like, actually no not lasagna like that used to be it and it's no longer it so I love what you're talking about like this link of self-care is also breaking tradition and in one side is breaking it the other side is honoring my voice that's also the self-care piece right yeah yeah um, you know, and it, well, what I love that you bring up right there is, is listening to my voice is when we were trying to do the live video, one of the things yeah. that you said was setting boundaries for myself. Yeah. 
and uh, you know, combining the traditions with the boundaries, how often do we end up in places and spaces where we don't necessarily want to be anymore, yeah. but we, we're something in our head is telling us, well, I have to do that. Yeah, 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 and that brings up the desire for choice, and uh, so long as you know, we're both coaches, so I think we both uh, agree on the fact that so long as we are making choices that come from ourselves, that feel conscious, that feels connected to who we are and what we want, throw it all at us. We can handle it. Throw the family, throw out the, you know, like the, those conversations that happen that, you know, maybe annoying or, or bothersome. So, but because we're at choice of being there, it shifts things. And, you know, with boundaries, I know I'm very clear this time around that I take my space. I come up earlier in the evenings mm -hmm. to read, to have some alone time, to journal or do nothing, just self-reflect. Mm -hmm. And you know this, like, that, that therefore, if I'm filled up inside, I can be there for others. Yes. And I can handle the, the extra amount of people that are in my space these days compared to what I'm used to. So... Yeah. yeah. So, okay. So we have one minute left because I do okay. want to hold this to the five minute. What is one intention that you would love to set today uh, going forward for this holiday season? Mm, as it relates to self-care? Yeah. As it relates to self-care. Mm. Yeah. Easy. Continue to check in first and make my decisions about what I'm doing from there. Love that. Yeah. Me first, right? Yes. And being self, like self-serving is yeah. not selfish. Brilliant. Oh, I love that. That's a nice reframe. Selfish yeah. is self-serving. Yes, it that. is. Absolutely. For ourselves and for those uh, around us. Yeah. So amazing. Yeah. So, <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, we thank are going you. to master this in live at some point. <laughs> oh, yes. We will do it, Beth. <laughs> Have an awesome day. Thank Back you. to the books to learn and uh, and really just as you enter the busier season to anybody that's watching this, uh, what are some of the intentions that you would like to set? Uh, I'd love to see them in the feed. And uh, if you have anything that you'd like to add, please share away. Thanks very much and, and have a great holiday. Bye. Bye.